Okay, so we made this exact same video with the Vancouver Canucks yesterday. We're doing the same with the Red Wings, and I wanted to give a big shout out over to Winged WH33L, so Winged Wheel, here on the R Detroit Red Wings subreddit, because what they did a few hours ago was go out there and crunch all the numbers. This is a really long post, and it goes over the elimination and clinching scenarios for Saturday and Monday. We also have ourselves available to us, the NHL standings as they are right now, as well as the NHL scheduling heading into the next few days. So let's talk about the Detroit Red Wings. Let's go over their entire playoff journey and how things are shaping up in the last few days of the regular season. Long story short, there are two more spots in the Eastern Conference that are up for grabs in the playoff race. This third place spot in the Metropolitan Division, as well as the second wild card. Right now, the Islanders are in the third spot in the Metro and the Penguins are in that second wild card, but when it comes to the diversity here, there are five teams that are rotating around in this mix. Now, I will say, the Red Wings are only only capable of getting themselves a playoff spot in the wildcard position that is currently held by Pittsburgh. They cannot get that third Metro spot. Instead, that third Metro spot is being contested right now between the Islanders, the Penguins, the Caps, as well as the Philadelphia Flyers. So four out of the five teams could squeak into the playoffs in this Metro spot. The Red Wings are the only team that has to only rely on that wildcard at the moment. The Wings are one point behind the Pittsburgh Penguins with the same amount of games played. They are tied with Washington with 79 games played and 85 points. Washington, though, has the tiebreaker of regulation wins on Detroit. The Wings and Caps are also tied with the Flyers, who have 85 points in 80 games played. They have been really bad as of late. Terrible late season collapse for Philly at this point in the year. But the Red Wings are in a really tight race, and heading into Saturday, it's going to be a huge day because Detroit, Pittsburgh, Washington, and Philadelphia are all playing. Winged Wheel went out there and did some math and looked at what could happen based on a 2, 1, or 0 point night. So, on Saturday, the Red Wings are going out there and playing off against the Toronto Maple Leafs, but if you take a look at some of these other games, I mean... The Flyers are playing the Devils, the Capitals are playing the Lightning, and the Islanders are playing the Rangers too, so that's also pretty important. These teams are all going to be in action. New York, Philadelphia, Washington, Detroit, and the Penguins are playing the Boston Bruins. So here's what happens. If Detroit does not get a point on Saturday, so they lose in regulation against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Pittsburgh wins on Saturday, on Monday, Detroit could be eliminated if they lose in regulation, or if they lose in overtime, and Pittsburgh loses in overtime, or if Pittsburgh wins. This also occurs with Washington. If Detroit does not get a point on Saturday and Washington wins on Saturday, on Monday, Detroit can be eliminated if they lose in regulation, or if they lose in overtime and Washington loses in overtime, or wins. If Detroit does not get a point on Saturday and Pittsburgh gets a point on Saturday, so just one point, not if they win, Detroit could be eliminated if they lose in regulation or if they lose in overtime and Pittsburgh loses in overtime or wins. Same thing could be said about Washington here. If the Washington Capitals get one point and Detroit loses on Saturday, then Detroit could be eliminated on Monday if they lose in regulation and Washington loses in overtime or wins, or if the Wings lose in overtime and Washington wins. So you're kind of seeing how this post is formulated, right? This is all based off of the assumption if Detroit loses in regulation tomorrow against Toronto. If they do that, then they'll be eliminated if Philadelphia wins and on Monday Detroit loses in regulation. So essentially, if the Wings lose tomorrow, they have a plethora of ways to get eliminated on Monday if they cannot keep winning because Washington, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia would all have themselves a fairly significant lead if these teams were to win and if Detroit ended up losing. You could also say the same thing here. If the Wings get a point on Saturday, so they lose in overtime tomorrow against the Toronto Maple Leafs, there are a few situations here. If the Penguins win tomorrow whilst the Wings get one point, the Wings will be eliminated on Monday if they lose in regulation. 
if the Wings get one point on Saturday and Washington wins on Saturday. On Monday, the Wings will be eliminated if they lose in regulation and Washington wins or loses in overtime, or if they lose in overtime and Washington wins straight up. Same thing could be said if Detroit gets a point and Pittsburgh gets a point. Detroit can be eliminated if they lose in regulation on Monday, and if Pittsburgh loses in overtime or wins in regulation also on Monday. Also in this situation, if the Wings lose in overtime and the Penguins win on Monday, Detroit will be eliminated then. And then if the Washington Capitals get a point on Saturday, whilst the Wings get themselves a point on Saturday, then Monday, Detroit will be eliminated if they lose in regulation and if Washington wins. This could also be flipped the other way around. With a point on Saturday, Detroit could also eliminate the Capitals on Monday if the Caps lose Saturday and Monday in regulation and Detroit wins on Monday. So not only can the Wings get eliminated themselves if they only get one point tomorrow versus the Leafs, but depending on how the Washington games go, as long as the Wings get themselves a point tomorrow, they do have an opportunity of eliminating Washington depending on if Washington loses twice in a row and Detroit wins on Monday. So another pretty dire situation here with this scenario. Same thing can be said here. Red Wings clinching scenarios. If Detroit wins on Saturday and Pittsburgh and Washington lose in regulation and Philadelphia loses in regulation or overtime, Detroit can clinch a playoff spot on Monday if they win and Pittsburgh loses in regulation and Washington loses in overtime or in regulation. Hopefully they've done all the math correctly. Still lots of scenarios ahead. No points for Detroit and points for Pittsburgh or Washington would be pretty brutal for our chances. Any situation that results in a point for Detroit and no points for Pittsburgh, Washington, or Philly would be ideal. They're not out of it yet. So essentially, as everybody could have pretty easily concluded from the entire way that hockey is played, if the Red Wings want to make the playoffs, they just gotta win. That's it. They got to go out there and beat the Toronto Maple Leafs. They also have to go out there and beat the Habs twice in a row. Admittedly, the Habs are not too difficult of an opponent, and I don't think the Wings should be struggling too hard if they really, really feel like they need to get this dub. They bounced back against Pittsburgh. Hopefully, they'll play a good game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So if things go well, then there are six points up for grabs here with the Red Wings. You kind of have to hope that the Penguins and Capitals both end up falling out and the Flyers continue down their path of mediocrity. So there are some potential scenarios of the Wings making the postseason. They just got to win their next three games, pretty much. Pittsburgh and Washington, you also have to hope for them that they end up losing their games here. It wouldn't be too tall of a task. I mean, Washington is playing Tampa Bay, and then they're playing Boston. So two really difficult games. You got to hope that Nikita Kucherov goes out there and absolutely smokes the Capitals. And then for Boston, I mean, they're trying to get to playoff four. You can see they're a good team. So hopefully it carries over there. And then this Tuesday game against Philadelphia, just for the sake of making things interesting, maybe let's say Philadelphia wins in regulation. No points for Washington. That would probably be ideal. As for the Pittsburgh Penguins, you can see they're playing against the gosh darn Bruins as well. So thank you, Boston. Detroit is standing by you in these hard times. Pittsburgh also plays Nashville and then the Islanders. So this could be a battle for that final Metro spot. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all of the situations here for the Detroit Red Wings to either clinch or get eliminated on Saturday and Monday. Big shout out over to Winged Wheel on the R Red Wings sub as to what the Wings' fates could be. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read some of this article yourself. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Detroit Red Wings and their playoff odds. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99. And bye.